Hi everyone, this is Don Ferguson with the Appalachian Search and Rescue Conference and Integrated Geospatial Tools for Search and Rescue. And in today's video, we'll be discussing downloading and installing IGT for SAR on your PC, as well as the steps that you take to create a new incident folder. And you'll be creating a new incident folder each time that you have a, a new SAR operation. So you can get IGT for SAR by downloading it from the Dropbox URL that's listed here on the screen and uh, also on the YouTube uh, site. And, uh, and when you download the file, you'll actually download a file called mapsar underscore ex. Uh, and this is a compressed file or a zip file that you'll need to extract. Uh, and you want to extract it to your root directory, your C colon slash directory. And when you do that, it's going to create a folder called mapsar underscore ex. And it's important that you keep these names and these locations this, uh, uh, the same because there are processes within IGT for SAR that uh, refer back to these locations. So if we open up this folder, uh, you'll see a number of files and subfolders that are listed here. And one of those files is a PDF file called Mapsar EX Setup. And this is the setup process that you go through to install it on install IGT for SAR on your computer. And, uh, and this is the steps that we're going to go through today. Uh, but if you want a printed document, uh, it's listed. It's, it's available here as well. So to actually install IGT for SAR on your computer, you're going to run one of these three batch files. And you're going to choose a batch file uh, for, that's um, uh, for your particular installation of ArcGIS. IGT for SAR works with version 10.0, 10.1, and 10.2 of ArcGIS. And whichever version you have, that's the batch file that you're going to run. So for example, uh, I have uh, ArcGIS 10.2 installed on my computer, so I would run the 10.2 uh, the, uh, or 10-2 batch file here. And uh, these batch files do a variety of different things. Uh, and, uh, uh, and you can see here that uh, we're going to install a couple of different add-ins, Esri add-ins, uh, and, uh, and then install a toolbox into the system, ArcGIS systems toolboxes. Um, within the uh, within the add-ins, one of the add-ins is called the Attribute Assistant add-in, and we'll talk more about this at one of the other uh, training videos, uh, but it's a, uh, a pretty good add-in to have. Uh, there's also a dynamic link library that's registered um, as part of the install, and it does a combination of measuring a bearing and a linear distance uh, within ArcGIS. It's pretty useful. And then we're also installing a uh, Python library called GeoMag, and that's used in the calculation for a magnetic declination. So to run these batch files uh, in Windows 7, you, you need to run them as a system uh, or as the administrator, uh, and you do that by right-clicking on right-clicking them and selecting Run as Administrator. If you're running just XP, you can just double-click and uh, and and they'll install. So let's go ahead and do that. So right-click and uh, Run as Administrator. So it actually uh, does the install fairly quickly. Uh, you'll get a notification up here that the dynamic link library was registered successfully, and you'll click OK on that. And then the uh, GeoMag Python library will uh, go through the, its installation. You'll just follow the screens, and uh, and then once you're done, you'll get the finish, and you're you're all set. And now you're ready to uh, actually create your first incident. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so to create a new incident folder, uh, we're going to do this actually inside of Arc Catalog. Uh, so you want to open up Arc Catalog, and uh, within the uh, ca catalog tree, you want to navigate to the toolboxes, and we want to go to the system systems toolboxes. And one of the toolboxes that should now be listed here is the SAR Toolbox uh, 100. You may not have the, all the other toolboxes that I have listed here, but uh, you should have this SAR toolbox listed. This is one of the this is one of the files that was uh, copied during the installation process. So if you didn't have that here, if you don't have the SAR toolbox listed in your systems toolbox, you want to go back through that installation process. And we're actually going to run uh, a tool, a Python script called Create New Incident. And you do that by just double clicking on it, and it's going to open up this. Uh, uh, this box, uh, and you have a couple choices that you need to make. One, you need to select a target folder, and you want to select, you most likely want to select create a new folder here, uh, so you can uh, navigate to the place where you want this folder to be, 
uh, and uh, and you can use a already a pre-existing folder, but it's going to uh, when you run this tool, it'll uh, overwrite anything that's in there. So you most likely want to create a new folder. So you just type in a new folder name and hit save, uh, and then you want to select the uh, coordinate system or the map projection that you want to use, and and you can use any map projection uh, within ArcGIS. Uh, you can choose even say uh, Australian uh, map projection if you want, and uh, and it's going to project in that coordinate system. Now, in some on some occasions when you select a coordinate system, you also need to do a transformation for that coordinate system. Uh, and if you need to do that transformation system, you'll get the options listed in this drop-down box, and you'll need to choose the right transformation. Um, if you choose a court sometimes when you choose a coordinate system you won't have the option of, of selecting a transformation and that's because you don't need it for that particular case so I'm going to use uh, zone 17 UTM zone 17 as my coordinate system and then I'm going to select OK and uh, and then the tool is just going to run and it gives you some updates of what's going on as it's as it's running it's kind of telling you a little bit of what it's doing it's, it's selected the map projection uh, that it's using and then uh, it's creating the various files and uh, and creating the the feature data set and the features within those features data set uh, and you get an update uh, of all that here on the on the screen Okay, so that's it. Uh, so now we actually want to open up that uh, the uh, go to that new uh, incident folder we just created and open up um, ArcMap. So I'm going to close that, um, open up Windows Explorer, uh, or just open up ArcMap uh, by itself and go to the directory uh, where you just created the new file. So there's my test case uh, folder that I just created. I'm going to open that up and then uh, just double click on IGT for SAR. Um, to uh, um, actually before you open it up we can go ahead and rename it if you want to rename it to something that's relevant to your particular incident so uh, even though I called my folder test case maybe I want to call this uh, give it an incident name uh, and then I'm just going to double click on that to open it up Okay, so uh, it's, I've opened up our incident in ArcMap, um, created a new incident with the new map projection that we're interested in, and, uh, and this is what it looks like when it opens up. If for some reason you don't see uh, your area that you uh, are interested in, uh, it may have been outside of, um, it may have been shifted when you did the map projection. So you can just come over to the base data group and hit zoom to layer and it would take you to the uh, to the to see the the layer that you've created there okay that's it so uh, now created a new incident uh, opened up in arc map and uh, and now we're ready to begin populating the data fields uh, and we'll cover that in uh, in, the, in the next tutorial so thanks for chat thanks for watching and um, and uh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we've uh, opened our, up our new incident in ArcMap, and now we're ready to begin populating the, the various data fields. And we'll, we'll start covering that in, uh, in the next video tutorial. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will see you soon. Bye.